welcome to the next video. I thought I'm not gonna be vlogging this weekend because I feel like shit. Like mental health is declining and it's actually bill zero at the moment at this point. But it is what it is. But my sister decided to come over and we're gonna do a Korean barbecue. Which I'm so excited. So that definitely cheered me up. I'm now just like cleaning my room, setting up everything, and then we go to Asian shop and get a few last bits and I'm gonna get drunk. I have soju, we have beer, it's gonna be great and I can't wait. So this is so far what I have. So I have plates, I have bowls, this is for ice, I have one more I need to wash it, beer glasses, soju, Kim aka seaweed and this is my lovely girl. Obviously I'm gonna move the table forward, I'm gonna have one chair here, one chair there, one chair here, one chair there and yeah can't wait. Skill? Where are we oh. going? English. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Asian shop. What are we getting there? Kimchi. No, we, we, I have kimchi. Oh. You need more, more kimchi. More kimchi. Okay, get, we get kimchi. more kimchi. More kimchi. More kimchi. <laughs> So, we are ready now for the barbecue. This is the big picture. We have some junk, sesame dressing, sesame oil and salt, spring onions, gochugaru, salt, sesame oil, seaweed, aka kim, kimchi, uh, radish, pickled radish. We have salad. We have, ah, shit on it. We have ramyam, it's a rice cake. We have soju. We have, we have beer, we have absolutely everything. We have beef, we have pork belly, and we're gonna eat like piggies. Beautiful girl. <laughs> Are you excited? Very, very much. Okay, let's go. Bye. So I'm gonna make a honey shot, which is essentially soju and beer. So let's do it. Soju. Now we go in bear because I'm confused. Because <laughs> we are bloggers, 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 well, everything. Uh, this is called Honey Shop and it's gonna be delicious. Yummy! So we have our chef, my, my personal chef. What is she doing? She's got the oh, pork so belly. Good. Yeah, she's like a pro. Look at her. Is it your first time? Actually, yeah, because when I was in Korea, everybody does it for me. <laughs> everybody did. Everyone, everybody, no, every, everyone did it, did it for, for me. you. Yeah. Okay, now, here we go. That's the issue because we're talking in Czech and then I used to switch to English. And I'm like, potato, potato, what the fuck? Potato, potato, what the fuck? Potato, potato, what the fuck? Me confused, you confused. Shana, you need, to, you need to flip it, you need to flip it, Shana. It, it's burning, this you, one is burning. You need to get on your room, Hana. Tick for the yatra chili. Listen, I... So she's gonna show you how she's eating. Making the sun. How she's eating it. Mm -hmm. Break it, break it, break it. Break it, break it, break it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm gonna put up seaweed. Seaweed. Okay, I, I, I as yeah. you can see, I'm not very skilled when it comes to taking Do the fly. videos. <laughs> fly. Fly away. I'm gonna take pork belly. I'm gonna dip it in some junk. Uh -huh. Put it in there. I'm gonna get some of the spring onions. Uh -huh. Pretty lovely, lovely. I'm gonna get some kimchi. Kimchi? Kimchi. Kimchi here, kimchi there. Ooh, that looks. And now we're gonna wrap it. Fat. Now we're gonna wrap it. Wrap it, wrap it. And I need it. Mmm. Not so sour. <laughs> what well, have you? What did you say? Not so sour. This um. means delicious and Korean. Not so sour. Left, right, left, right. 
Hello, another day, next day, Sunday. So I just got back home from food shop. Um, as you saw yesterday, I had the Korean barbecue at home. It was lovely. My sister came over, we chatted, it was great. And I did mention that my mental health is really declining. It's under zero at the moment, which is true. So, you know, a couple of weeks back or maybe a month now, two months, I don't know, I was really down. I did that video when I was like really depressed, etc. Since that, I did a couple steps, you know, set myself a few goals and I was like, I'm gonna get better. And it's slowly been creeping out, like up and up and I felt good, right? And then on, was it Friday, Thursday? Probably Thursday, I had an email from my landlady that she's gonna be increasing rent which I'm like you know what well, whatever makes sense but it's a bit ridiculous so as you can see you know you saw my room it's nothing extra it's not new I don't really share the living room I don't really share the kitchen I don't really share the bathroom because it's not great it's nasty it's kind of old it's all broken my flatmates are pigs they just don't clean after themselves and you know, I was like, for the money I'm paying now, I was like, it's still one of the cheapest rents, so I can tolerate it, right? And kind of my plan was to, anyway, stay here till maybe like March, April next year, and then maybe I will go traveling again, maybe I will move elsewhere, you know, who knows? But I was like, you know, I can do that. However, now she's increasing the rent about 140 quid a month, which is ridiculous for the state of this. So I'm now between like, should I get a new place, which then means, you know, from October, I will need to sign up for another year. I don't really feel like I want to do it. I have like uh, my coworker and her friend, they want to kind of move out as well. So it would be like, gonna be three of us, which would be lovely. However, I'm in that stage and like, I don't know if I want to stay another year and two months basically in this country. With the way how everything is going also with my job as well i'm not really 100 percent fulfilled by it so hence why i decided kind of now I'll start the side hustle to get satisfied from work etc and now again everything is just crumbling down so i don't know i might be <sighs> might be renting in a different place and be moving here or my might gonna move back home after 11 years and I honestly have no idea what to do. So I want to be always transparent on my videos. You know, maybe somebody else going through the same shit as I do. Maybe someone wants to cheer up that their life is not as bad as they thought. Maybe I have literally like number one words problems at the moment, which are not relevant to anyone. I don't know, but you know, it's just, just it is what it is i feel like since my trip to korea everything just going down the hill like i genuinely peaked when i was in korea i had the greatest time i enjoyed it i was like after a long time i finally took a holidays you know i totally switched off and it was great and then i got back to the harsh reality and had a chat with my boss and you know my mental health went down and in general everything was kind of like shit now this, I'm like, I think it's maybe all this is a sign to be like, you know what, you're done here. Like this country, it doesn't serve you any benefits, anything anymore. You kind of got the best from it. You had amazing nine years here, but it's probably time to move. And, you know, if that's going to be back home, it's just going to be kind of temporary. And then if I'm moving home, it's actually a couple of months in my hometown, set myself, get a job, move to Prague, obviously, because I would get mental if I stay in my hometown. And then figure out what else I can do, where else I can move, I guess. So, man, yeah, it's kind of what's happening behind the scene. I didn't even think I'm going to be vlogging this week. I was just like, you know, I'm going to, for the first time this year, I'm going to skip it. I'm just not going to film anything, but... Then my sister was like, oh, let's finally do that, you know, Korean barbecue at home. We did it. It was great. I really enjoyed it. 
my stomach is still full since yesterday. So, yeah, I'm glad I actually filmed it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. As per usual, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs>